I'm about to teach you how to parallax in GDevelop 5. Hey everyone, Alex here. Thanks for joining me here on the canvas. The first thing we're going to do is go to our project settings, go to our extensions, and we're going to be using the parallax, the parallax extension. Make sure we add that to our project, click install, and then we can close our project here. The next thing we have to do is use a tiled sprite. So we're going to open that up and I'm using my sprites from Super Toast World. We're going to name this Parallax and we're going to add the tile that we need. Now any background image will do for you. You can use multiple if you'd like. Now all I'm doing here is quickly adding the parallax in and stretching my image all the way across. Now with a double click, we can open up our parallax, go to behaviors. We need to search for parallax. And here we have horizontal parallax and vertical parallax. And in this case, we're using horizontal because it's a platformer. I'm gonna leave the default settings and we're gonna be moving at a factor of 0.5, which is 50% the speed of the, of the player character. Now here quickly, I'm just gonna be assembling my own camera. You don't need to use this at all, so I'm skipping through it. But I did wanna show you um, in, in hyperspeed what it, that kinda of looks like if you have to make your own camera. Um, but you can use a smooth camera extension, but what's really important is the camera must be following your player character for this to work. So whatever you wanna do. So now we're gonna test that. And we can see here that as I move um, the toast character, the background is moving about half the speed of the character, which is much too fast for me. I want a bit slower. So to do that, we're gonna go back into the parallax, go to its behavior and simply change that to one point or point one two five. And now we can see a nice slow transition in our movement. So that's all I have for you. Until next time, remember, happy game making, and I'll see you in the next video.